Kitchen. Absolutely superb. 20-sub minutes of the second half. And look at this one again. Played back from the corner. Kicked by Peter Weir. Bent taking it. First time with the right boot. And rough hand and earthly. challenge on Betts to keep possession. Kane being shown the way inside by McQueen. Cowan's return. Fine effort from Kane. He really does have a lot of dig in that right boot. Paul Kane. And that was well set up as he came inside playing the old-fashioned one-two with Cowan. And the shot certainly worried Jim Layton. Just a shade casual, that from the young fullback. Takes a word of correction from Willie Miller. Collins again. Rose cross. Later under pressure. Now can Jury turn it towards goal? That's fine defending by McQueen. He did very well indeed there because a rash challenge at that point. Could either have caused a penalty kick or left Jury with a clear shot at goal. But it certainly was a moment of anxiety for Jim Layton. sorts things out. Drew Layton will have been happy to have had that opportunity. That's a great ball from Miller. Stark is onside. McDougall waiting in the middle. There's McDougall. The top of the line, yes. A bit of luck for Frank McDougall in the end. Created initially by Willie Miller, Frank McDougall gets his first of the new season to add to his 24 last season. And the match is surely now safe for Aberdeen. Miller's first time left-footed pass from defence set it all up. Catching the hip defence coming forward, Stark was onside. Racing forward to the corner of the box, chipping the ball inside for McDougall. Ruff did well initially, but he had no luck as McDougall turned it back over the line. Match is certainly well under the control of Aberdeen now. With a very firm grip on midfield. Stark finds Weir on the left. Bet is with him. Aberdeen have retaken the midfield to leave Bet on the left side with Weir. Bet is on side. There's the header, and it's Billy Stark who's out of luck. Well, a delightful ball from Betts on the left. They took the pass from Weir, chipping it beyond Alan Ruff. And Stark going up so well that he couldn't head the ball below the bar. McBride popping up on the right. The Queen comes across. Can McBride get the shot on target? Couldn't get it beyond McQueen. Start to bet a buzz of expectancy around the stadium. Ruff coming out of his goal once again. Well, a new dimension to Alan Ruff's goalkeeping, his surges from his box to act as auxiliary sweeper. Once again, Bet has found space, taking the pass from McLeish. 
Not quite good across, but Simpson's there. And how about that from Frank McDougall? McDougall second, Haberin third, and they don't come much more spectacular than that. Just two minutes left. It was down to the intelligent play of Bent once again, finding space in the left to collect McLeish's pass. The cross initially looked much too long and deep, but Simpson's determined running got to the ball, he turned it back, and there was McDougall with a flying head.